what is up guys it is Bucky and welcome to your 22nd tutorial maybe and this tutorial we're going to be going over a conditional operator which is pretty much a shorthand version of the if else statement and this is probably the last thing we're going to be doing with if else or anything like that for a couple tutorials and anyways we're also going to be going over boolean variables what they are and uh, what they mean so let's go ahead and jump right into it I'm not even gonna give you a background of anything first I'm just gonna go ahead and build the program because this is gonna be the easiest way to teach it so let's go ahead and set a variable a equal to two, set a variable b equal to three and set a variable c equal to zero and these are just gonna be some demonstration variables so the first thing is the condition operator and what this does is like I said it's a shorthand term for if else and what you do is you give it a condition which is a test and then you give it an expression one and expression two expression one is gonna happen if the test is true expression two is gonna happen if the test is false so let's go ahead and make a simple test a equal to b now after this test what you do is you put a question mark and this uh, kind of makes sense one of the only things that makes sense in a computer program so it's like you're asking it is it true or is it not true with the question marks and after the question mark you give it two sets of expressions the first and by the way these expressions are going to be separated by a colon the first expression which is just a statement any bit of code you want is what you want to happen if this is true so if a is equal to b then just go ahead and output they are equal now for your else what you do is you put a colon and after the colon it's another expression now after the colon you want to write an expression what's gonna happen if the statement is not true or in this case they aren't equal to each other so ns log let's go ahead and write different so here's the syntax for this you give it a, a condition and then you give it an expression what do you want to happen if it's true separated by colon what do you want to happen by its false if it's false and again well let's go ahead and just run this and see what happens so save and it says different right here because right here because a is not equal to b now let's go ahead and change those to 2 and 2 and see what we get build and run save it they are equal bam right there so again one last time you give it a condition which is pretty much a test put a question mark after it to know to separate the condition for the expressions give the true expression separated by colon and the false expression so that way it can test whether this is true or false and have code to output either way so that's kind of the shorthand of um, a condition operator so now let's get into boolean variables now aside from conditions testing whether they're true or false you can also test if variables themselves are true or false so let's give you an example well let's go ahead and just copy this entire thing just because we already have the syntax all there and instead of a equals b let's just go ahead and test one variable c and you're like what's a test for this c true or false how the heck can you test one variable if it's true or false well let's go ahead and first write true for the true statement and false for the false statement now instead of integers characters there's also another data type and this is called boolean or boolean now anytime you have a variable and it's equal to zero your computer is gonna see it as false anytime you have a variable which is not zero and the most common thing people set it equal to is one but you can set it equal to 99 or anything anything that's not zero your computer is gonna see this is true so the idea that a variable itself can either be true which is not zero or false which is zero is the type of a boolean or boolean however you say it so let's go ahead and run this so right now well we can delete this 
we're saying C, which in essence means is C equal to zero. If it is, it's going to be false. So this should output false. If it's not, it's going to be true. So let's go ahead and build and run this. And as you can see, it says false right there. Now let's go ahead and if we wanted to make this variable true, it would go ahead and set it equal to one. So now if you go ahead and build ran this again, it would output true. So that is the basics of a Boolean variable. And like I said, you can also set it to 99 or anything and still build it, save it, and it'll output is true. So why am I telling you this random variable stuff without even giving you a real need for it? Well, later on, we're going to be using Boolean variables, and I want you guys to know whenever we use them, and I'm going to be like, if C, then you guys actually know what's going on. And by the way, since you can use it there, you can also use it in an if statement, like if C, and then output a bit of code right here. So whenever I do stuff like that, now you guys will have an understanding of what it means and when you see it run in the program and see the usefulness of it then it might click in your head but anyways just want to tell you guys that there is something called boolean variable uh, if your variable is set to zero it's going to be false anything else in zero is going to be true and that's that for this tutorial so thank you guys for watching um, I got nothing else to say so make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next tutorial